The trolley problem is a philosophical problem presented by British philosopher, Philippa Foote. It was later publicized by the American philosopher, Judith Jarvis Thompson, who we read in our class. The trolley problem is a series of thought experiments that use ethics and psychology that involve dilemmas based on a trolley speeding toward a set of two diverging train tracks. It is overall an ethical dilemma of whether or not, as the trolley driver, you should sacrifice one life over many lives. But there are a multitude of different examples and thought experiments used to explore this philosophical issue. The original problem was introduced as the following, you are the driver of a trolley that is going down a track. The path you are going on has five workers who are working on the track. There is another diverging track with one worker, also working on the track. All of the workers cannot move off the track to escape your trolley, so it is up to you to choose what you do next. If you were the driver in this situation, who would you choose? Would you choose the five workers or the one lone worker? Most people would say they would hit the lone worker, saving the other five. It's the quote, moral answer in this dilemma, as stated by most because you would be saving the vast majority over a single life that presumably would have less of an impact if it was lost than the other five. But, what if we switch it up a bit to add some more reality to the situation? Let's say, you're once again driving a trolley. You come up on the two diverging tracks and are faced with the age-old dilemma. On one track stands your best friend, and on the other stands your parents. As you can see, this is a much harder decision when it comes to people you actually know. This situation is very dependent on who you are as a person and what relationship you desire more and are closer to. Some people have a very tight-knit relationship with their parents while others don't. Some people rely on their best friends for everything and would probably help them bury a body for them if they needed it. As you can now see, this philosophical question has gotten a lot harder to answer when real people you know are thrown into the mix. As the driver of the trolley, you do have a decision to make. You can't stop the trolley and spare all of their lives, because that is not how this problem works. Let's consider some other scenarios that this issue has to offer. Let's say you are a bystander near two diverging train tracks. You can see that a trolley is coming toward a group of innocent ducks just trying to cross the track. You can divert the trolley to the other track, but, by doing that you will be destroying the original copy of the Mona Lisa. If you really love ducks, you aren't going to want to hit them. The Mona Lisa, on the other hand, is a very important historical artwork that cannot be recreated. It was created over 500 years ago during the Italian Renaissance and it is one of the most famous pieces in the world. So which would you choose in this scenario? The adorable little ducks, or the uncopyable, irreplaceable historic, Mona Lisa? No decision will be made in this video, it is simply a thought experiment for the viewer. How about this next scenario? You are the driver of a trolley. On the right track, is the only person left on the planet who can make all of the drinks on the Starbucks menu. On the left is the only person left on Earth who can make all of the drinks on the Dunkin' Donuts menu. Which direction would you divert the trolley this time? All in all, the trolley problem has multiple scenarios in which it can end. It all is dependent on the person's personal opinion, how they were raised, what they believe in, and a multitude of other factors. Some people may have the same opinion, but everyone thinks of the trolley problem differently, which is why it is such an interesting concept to explore.